good morning. Welcome back to the Kristen Amdahl Show. This is episode 1074, and we are live in Southwest Florida at the beach today. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Let me know if you're crafting this morning. Let me know if you have questions for me. Let's just talk. Hope you're having a good day so far. Happy Thursday. I need to count my stitches. Give me a second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi, Grace. Hi, Joe. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Judy. Whoopsie. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Karen. Hi, Judy. Hi, Sean. Hi, Judy and Bonnie, Mariana, Naomi. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Hi, Thea. Hi, Naomi, Nancy, Kathy. Welcome back to the Kristen Amdahl Show. This is episode 1074, and we are here live in Southwest Florida at the beach today. If you're joining me live, please say hello. If you are uh, not watching live, please also feel welcome to say hello. Hi, Holly and Patricia and Judy. Bonnie, good morning, everybody. If you are new to my channel or my show, welcome. So happy to have you here. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so that you will be first to know when I have a new video or a new live stream. Wow, it's hard to count and talk at the same time. Uh, someone asked what I'm making. I am making a baby blanket. In, and I'm using one of the stitch patterns from Crochet Power to make it. I'm using the treble crochet stitch pattern in the increase in rounds section, which is how you make a square from the beginning out. At the end of this round, I'll be able to show you. And I'm going to uh, make, so I'm gonna use the treble crochet increase in rounds stitch pattern to make the blanket. And then I will be able to talk about, and honestly, you could do this with any of the stitch patterns, right? Crochet Power is written and organized so that you can pick any stitch pattern in the book and then choose any of the four construction styles to make anything, right? So if you're going to make a baby blanket, square is ideal. So I can use the increase in rounds section of the book and then pick any stitch pattern to make my baby blanket. I thought with this super chunky yarn, I thought simple stitches were going to be really beautiful and they are. <laughs> so you can see uh, with the 10 millimeter crochet hook and a number six super bulky yarn, I'm getting this super yummy and super large scale. Ah, the bugs are starting. Whoops, I'm having a hard time counting though today, my goodness. I don't think I've crocheted while talking in a while. Let's see. Uh, hi, Patricia. Hi, Debbie. How pretty is the beach today, too, right? So I could have chosen any of the stitch patterns to make a square baby blanket. And I could choose to use any weight yarn as well because it's worked from the inside out. Is it a granny square? Um, you know, it depends on what you mean by granny square. Is it a traditional granny stitch? No, um, it is treble crochet stitch. I was just explaining that it's one of the stitch patterns from Crochet Power and that you could not only do exactly what I'm doing with the book, but you could also do this with any of the stitch patterns in the book. The book is written so that you can decide what shape and what type of project you wanna make and then do it in any of the stitches in any weight yarn and i just think that that's so cool so i could have done this with lace weight yarn i could have done this anywhere from a zero to a six weight yarn in any of the stitch patterns i just think that's so cool <laughs> and i know sometimes not everybody understands 
that, but um, the more we talk about it and the more I show you what I do with the book, I think it'll make more sense, including with this project here. Hi, Margaret. Oh man, there's bugs down here today. I have not missed the no seams at the beach, that's for sure. And it's funny, I get so many bug bites at home at night going outside with Bjorn that I've gotten really good at putting bug spray on there and I did not think to bring it with me here this morning. Dang it. All right, I want to try to finish this row or this round so I can show you what it looks like. Hi, Steffi. So I guess I'll stop talking or talk minimally for a minute. of odor you're talking about, Thea. I mean, could have been fish, could be seaweed. I don't know what you mean by strange. I don't know if you mean fishy or... Don't know. Strange could, strange could describe so many different types of things, whether it's uh, Sharon, yes. If anything that could be made with squares, you can use the square construction style in the book to make squares. Yes. If you uh, wanted to make a top-down triangular shawl or a top-down half hexagon shawl, you could use any of the stitch patterns in the book and just follow the increase in rows section. If you wanted to make a cowl or leggings or any tubular fabric, you could choose any of the stitch patterns or a hat. You could choose any of the stitch patterns and work in even in rounds to make a tube in any weight yarn. And if you wanted to make a flat fabric, so working just back and forth even in rows, you could take any stitch pattern, any weight yarn, and make anything that's flat in rows. So a scarf, an afghan, a wrap, anything, or any panels that you would make to combine with uh, to sew together to make a top as well. So you could make garments, ponchos, or simple tops without shaping with either the, I don't even know what bacteria smells like, the, uh, sorry about that. That's too bad. Okay, so now you can see, after the second round, when I've added my corners, my increase corners, you can see, we definitely have a square now. And as I continue, that's only two rounds. Look at how big this is already. This is going to be like the fastest baby blanket ever. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And don't you love the large scale of the stitches too? It's just a different look, a different vibe. I love it. Hi, Irene. Hi, Kim. Good morning, good morning, anyone I might have missed. I am using Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick. It's a number six bulky weight yarn. It's uh, made out of 100% recycled polyester and it's called Sunshine. I love the color. I think it's very pretty. I think it's be beautiful for a baby blanket. Yeah, the background is so cool today, isn't it? This is one of my favorite spots at the beach. I absolutely love this tree here. I love all of the driftwood in here. This is my little magical driftwood forest that I love so much. I suppose we should turn the camera around so you can see everything too. All right. So in this part of the beach, no swimming allowed. Oh, that sounds so nice, Lori. Yes, a throw in this in this yarn would be so warm and cozy. And because of the weight, it's a little heavier too, which I love a heavy blanket. Is it safe to be on my own? I have no idea what you're, uh, what you're asking about. I am a single woman. I am always alone. <laughs> I sure hope it's safe to be alone. Okay, so here's little Dolly. There's where I'm sitting. This is my view while I'm talking to all of you. There's more of the driftwood over here. Hi, Edna. 
Boy, doesn't it look fun to be on floaties out there? The water's pretty, the water is pretty safe, or pretty clear. Sorry, I'm trying to read and uh, speak. The water's pretty clear, but we've got some rollers today. The waves are nice and loud, aren't they? I just love how every day is different here. I love how every day is different. You know, some days I suppose are better than others, but overall they're all cool. And you know, anytime you spend time in nature, it's unexpected. You don't know what you're gonna find. One day when I was leaving here, I saw a little baby snake. He couldn't have been longer than this and he was wiggling in the sand in front of me. And I was like, ugh, yuck. But I didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't do anything. I just waited for him to go by. I stopped and waited for him to walk by because uh, part of me, I immediately thought, where's mom? <laughs> and I don't like snakes, so I just stayed out of his way. And, and that's important to me though, too. When, if I'm at home and, you know, there's invaders in my house, that's one thing. But when I'm out here in nature, I'm a guest. This is where they live, so stay out of their way, right? Mm. Wow, this is so beautiful and peaceful. Ah. Okay. You know what? What do you say? We don't wait till the end today. I think it's time to close our eyes and listen to these waves. What do you say? All right, I'm going to close my eyes for 30 seconds. Let's take a little break. Enjoy the sounds around me. If you'd like to join me, you can close your eyes too. I'll count in my head and um, I'll let you know when I open my eyes back up so I don't leave you hanging. And we're going to start right now. Make sure I'm out of the camera. Starting now. Boy, was that relaxing. It made me want to take a nap. <laughs> wow. Did you enjoy that too? Right, give or take 35. I, I count 35 because I know I count fast. <laughs> and if you didn't feel like doing it, that's okay too. I know some people have uh, FOMO. Do you know what FOMO stands for? Fear of missing out. Some people have it, some people don't. Some people have it stronger than others either. So I understand if you didn't want to close your eyes with me, but uh, it's a nice option if you wanted to as well. I also brought some other stuff down with me today. Don't know if you uh, read the news section of my website. It's kind of like a blog where I share, I write articles. Some are really educational. Some are about something new that I found. And I wrote an article and published it yesterday about Spokenote. I don't know if you've heard about Spokenote yet, but it is a brand new company that does the most adorable product. And it's these little stickers that you scan, leave a video message on, and then give to other people. So you can put a personalized message on a gift, put a personalized message in a handwritten note card. You could give them to your family members to make the videos and send back to you. It's such a wonderful way to leave a personalized message for people. You don't need to, um, you don't need an app. You don't need any special equipment. You simply scan the QR code, then you uh, record your message and then you put the sticker on anything. Isn't that wonderful? They come in a package of 10, and like I said, you could either give them away for other people to use, or you could make them to give to people as well. For me personally, I think it's a great way to use as an entrepreneur as well, because I can leave special messages on 
uh, when I'm signing a book. I could leave a personalized video greeting as well as writing uh, in the book. I could also do it for in the note card. So I've added spoke note now as an additional benefit to the tier four of my Patreon subscribers. So this month when I'm sending out their handwritten note cards, I'm also going to be handing, sending them a personalized video note on these stickers and putting it in their handwritten note card. And that's if that's not enough, I actually handmade the note cards this month too. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of fun. I love, you know, I, I love makers love to make, right? <laughs> we love to make anything. So um, hand making, making handmade note cards is fun as well. And I have all the tools still because or a lot of supplies because I did have a paper chap paper craft chapter in my 80 handmade gifts book, and in there you'll find a couple of the styles of cards that I made. So I did some foil embossed cards, I did some paper punch cards, and so I had some I had some samples left over of both when I opened up my box of supplies yesterday. So I used those to send out my handwritten note cards. And today, this morning, I brought my spoke notes for the level four note cards, and I thought that I'd make my little personalized video greetings for them here at the beach this morning. And then later today, when I do my regular shipping, with shipping out books and stuff, I will be uh, mailing all of the handwritten note cards. Fun, right? Yeah. Just a nice way to thank my supporters. And I am definitely in the home stretch of writing the uh, crochet power etching book. I feel like I'm in the home stretch of writing it. I have, I think I have, I've got less than, definitely have less than 20 edgings to go. I want to say I'm closer probably have like 10, 10 to go, something like that. Uh, yes, thanks Judy for the reminder. Also, I will be selling the spoke notes along with book plates when I release book plates on my website too. I know not everybody buys my books directly from me. And so I am going to be offering book plates soon where you can buy the personalized autograph sticker to put in your book. And I'm going to offer that as an option with and without the spoke note personalized videos as well so very cool oh and having said all that spoke note uh, asked me they didn't ask me spoke note is offering a special coupon for anybody that wants to try these out Judy has shared the link for where you can purchase them and you can use coupon code Kristen 10 off to get 10% off your order and you don't have to remember any of this it's all shared in that blog post or news article in the news section of my website that I uh, published yesterday so you can go look at that after the show and the link will take you right there and you just need to enter that coupon code to get 10% off your order how would you like to use those like I think it'd be great to leave personalized you could tell someone a joke on one of those you could say something sweet but it could be funny it could be sweet you could be sharing a special milestone with somebody what if you wanted to share you know walking across the graduation line at a graduation with someone that couldn't make it to the graduation I said that a lot of times in there <laughs> or let like any other type of a milestone you wanted uh, someone to be there when you did something special like there's a lot of ways that you could share special moments with people that can't be there as well a new baby of definitely yes but even more i mean there's i just think there's so many applications and just like what just like any other time when i encourage everybody to brainstorm together with me here when creative people brainstorm we come up with all sorts of creative ideas so i was curious to see what you would like to do with them as well I was working in double treble crochet last night and I think that my muscle memory is telling me to do double treble right now when I want to do this in treble crochet. Kim's going to the beach soon? Good for you! Got 
gosh, I wonder how many rounds it's gonna take to make this baby blanket. Not many, not many. Look at how big this is already. I mean, what are these two inch tall stitches? Of course it's not gonna take long. <laughs> of course not. Hi, Dory. Donna. I did it again. Did you ever do that? You get so used to one stitch that uh, when you go to make a different stitch, you make the other one. Like I worked, I did a lot of double treble crochets last night. And now today, I'm trying to do this in treble crochet, and my hands keep wanting to do yarn over three times instead of yarn over twice. I love working with bulky yarn. With the right yarn, you know? I don't love every bulky yarn, but uh, when I find one that I like, I think it's really fun. This one is just so soft, I love it. Yeah, you can finish projects quickly with thick yarn too. That's also another wonderful benefit of it. Hi, Rita. The one downside to it is that it's usually such low yardage when you buy bu this bulky of yarn that I find that annoying that you have to have, you know, you need so many balls and then you need to weave in all the ends. And that's why I think this appealed to me so much. I love the put up. I love how big this ball of yarn is so that I'm not gonna have to weave in so many ends. Because sometimes when you buy super bulky yarn, you only get like 40 or 50 yards, and that's fine if you're making something small, but to make something big with bulky yarn, I think that it's an added bonus when you can find really large put-ups. That's me personally. Anytime your ball has high yardage though, you have to be willing to uh, deal with more knots and tangles, though, too. It's, I don't, is it mustard? If it's mustard colored, I would, uh, it's a little mustard. It's also very cheerful. It's very sunshiny yellow, too. I would call it sunshine yellow over mustard, but I know it can look it can look all sorts of different ways on camera, plus I'm sitting in the shade. But what did we say that it is called sunshine, isn't it? Yeah, it is called sunshine. Here we go. Three rounds. Look at how big this is. Isn't that huge? For three rounds? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's the little things that can amuse us. Oh, I almost got into a crazy car accident on the way here this morning. Um, so where I live has a humongous intersection, but it's a very small road crossing over a very large road. So not everybody takes the intersection very seriously at the left with the left turn lanes because no one ever expects someone to go straight from my side where I live to cross over the major intersection. And so I watch near accidents all the time with people turning and cutting people off going straight from my, and this is the light I have to, I have to leave through this intersection. I live off of a dead end road and this is the only way out. And so uh, the reason I'm telling you this, first of all, it scared the daylights out of me. Um, I almost got hit head on by someone that didn't expect me to be going straight even though I didn't have a blinker on and I did everything I was supposed to do. And he came barreling right at me like we were nose to nose, or he was coming right from my driver uh, door actually. 
and I was able to slam on my brakes and avoid him at the very last second. And the reason why I'm telling you this, see, every, sometimes there's a reason why we need to leave little messages for people, right? And it reminds me of what I've told Marlon all along when he was learning to drive. Pay attention. It's not always about knowing how to drive. It's about no, being prepared to react to how other people are driving. And all it takes is one split second of not paying attention. If I had been looking at a bird over here or looking at that pretty car over there or changing the temperature in the car or changing the radio station, I could have missed seeing this car and and been hit head on this morning on the way here. So the reason I'm telling you this is a gentle reminder, pay attention, that's it. It's not about what you do sometimes, it's about watching and being prepared to react to what other people are doing. <laughs> this is one example where other people's opinions of me are my business, <laughs> no, right? It, it's, the op it's different than that because it's not their opinion. Other people's actions, you gotta watch. So somebody might need to hear this today, pay attention today okay <laughs> yeah it's not about your skills sometimes sometimes it's about being prepared for what other people are gonna do my phone just went dark but hey it's in the shade it's just the temperature out here what are you gonna do thanks Nancy yes I'm glad I'm all right too I appreciate it uh, very scary but luckily I was paying attention all right who wants to look up an inspirational quote Let's randomly pick something. Let's see what comes up today. We just did this one recently. It must be a page that I open a lot. Ooh, this one is from Helen Keller. It's from Create, Share, Inspire Notebook, Volume 1, Issue 1, page 42, from Helen Keller. What I am looking for is not out there. It is in me. Ooh, that's a very deep and profound quote. Simple words, simple sentence, but wow, is that deep and impactful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look inward. What I am looking for is not out there. It is in me. Gosh, I love that. That is one of my favorite quotes and always a nice gentle reminder to work on self. We can always work on ourselves, right? Always. Whether it's learning how to improve our skills at something or learn how to forgive people or be more understanding of others or just remember that or just remember other people's opinions of me are none of my business, or remember that everybody's going through a lot more than it might seem on the surface, and if someone's behaving ugly, it probably has nothing to do with you either. That's such a wonderful thing to realize if you are upset by other people's behavior. It is such a relieving moment when you can let go of the fact that it really has nothing to do with you at all. With you at all. Oh, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the beach, the sound of the waves, talking about yarn, chatting with me and everyone else. If you like being here and you like my channel, please feel welcome to subscribe. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I've got thousands of videos here, all sorts of educational, tutorials as well as so many other of these live streams in nature and all around and I answer questions and share positivity and creativity all the time so if any of that appeals to you please feel welcome to subscribe to my channel and click that like button if you like this video I'd appreciate that as well let us make time to create share and inspire today and every day have a wonderful day everybody and I'll see you next time bye bye